Hi, this is JD and I am here with Joyce Talk. Today's video is about the evolution of the iconic Humvee to its latest avatar, the Hummer EV. Trust you will enjoy being with me. The Hummer brand's evolution has taken a couple of surprising turns over the years. In the 1990s, AM General offered the Humvee a civilian grade version of the ultra capable Humvee. General Motors later purchased the rights to the brand and produced the H2 and H3 Humvee inspired SUVs and short bed pickup variants. After staying dormant following the brand's closure in 2010, the Hummer name is back in a big way with the proposed 2022 GMC Hummer EV. In 1979, the US Army drafted final specifications for a high mobility multi-purpose field vehicle or HMMWV which was to replace original Jeep and others such as the Vietnam War era M151 Jeep, the M561 Gamma Goat, their M718A1 and M792 ambulance versions, the commercial utility cargo vehicle and other light trucks. Out of 61 companies that showed interest, only three submitted prototypes. In July 1979, AM General, a subsidiary of American Motors Corporation, began preliminary design work. Less than a year later, the prototype was in testing. In June 1981, the Army awarded AM General a contract for the development of several more prototype vehicles to be delivered to the government for another series of tests. AM General was awarded an initial contract in 1983 for 2,334 vehicles, the first batch of a five-year contract that would see 55,000 vehicles delivered to the US military, including 39,000 vehicles for the Army. 72,000 vehicles had been delivered to the US and foreign customers by the Persian Gulf War of 1991 and 100,000 had been delivered by the Humvee's 10th anniversary in 1995. The high mobility multi-purpose wheeled vehicle that is HMMWV colloquially known as Humvee, is a family of light, four-wheel drive, military trucks and utility vehicles produced by AM General. It has largely supplanted the roles previously performed by all the tactical vehicles in the one-fourth to one and a quarter ton range. Primarily used by the United States military, it is also used by numerous other countries and organizations and even in civilian adoptions. The Humvee saw widespread use in the Gulf War of 1991, where it navigated the treacherous desert terrain. This usage helped to inspire civilian Hummer versions. After going through a replacement process, the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle or JLTV was selected to its successor in frontline service. The Hummer H1 became known from photographs published during Operation Desert Storm and the enthusiastic campaign from actor Arnold Swazizanza. The vehicle was produced from 1992 through 2006 and was the first of what became the Hummer line. Originally designed strictly for military use, 
the off-road vehicle was released to the civilian market due to market demand. It was initially known as the Hummer. However, under a 1999 deal, GM bought marketing rights to the Hummer name and called the vehicle the Hummer H1. The Hummer H2 is a large SUV that was marketed by Hummer and built in the AM General facility under contract from General Motors from 2002 to 2009. It is based on a modified GMT 820 Chevrolet 2500 HD in front and 1500 frame in back. A four-door pickup truck version with a mid-gate that opens the vehicle's interior to the external cargo bed was introduced for 2005 as the H2 SUT that is sports utility truck. The Hummer H3 is an off-road vehicle that was produced from 2005 to 2010 by General Motors. The smallest model of the Hummer lineup it was offered as a 5-door SUV or a 4-door pickup truck known as the H3T. Unlike the larger H1 and H2 models, the H3 was not developed by AM General. It was introduced for the 2006 model year based on a modified GMT 355 that underpinned the Chevrolet Colorado slash GMC Canyon compact pickup trucks that were also built at GM's Cheveport operations in Cheveport, Louisiana and the Port Elizabeth plant in South Africa. The GMC Hummer EV is both an upcoming off-road luxury electric vehicle produced by GMC simply referred to as Hummer EV and badged as HEV and its own sub-brand, the Hummer EV line was launched in October 2020 through a live stream. The Hummer EV sub-brand includes a pickup truck or SUT and a confirmed sports utility vehicle or SUV that was introduced on 3rd of April 2021. The GMC Hummer EV traces its roots back to the discontinued Hummer brand, stylized Hummer, of General Motors. On January 30th, 2020, GM released three quite revolution themed teasers of the Hummer EV. These teaser releases were followed up with the first marketing launch with Super Bowl LIV ads on February 2nd, 2020 with LeBron James as the spokesperson. The reveal, which was scheduled for May 20th, 2020 release, was postponed due to the coronavirus pandemic. It was revealed on October 20th, 2020 instead, with reservations opening the same day. Additionally, the October 20th reveal event was viewable not only on the GMC website but also via live stream on YouTube and through several short film style advertisements run during Game 1 of the 2020 World Series and the premiere of Season 19 of NBC's The Voice. That's all for today. Thank you. Stay blessed. And see you in my next video.